I'm David Litherland. I've uh, been with Wapaka for eight years as a project engineer. I'm Shane Hubert. I'm a project engineer here at Wapaka Foundry. I've been here about 11 years. I'm Sean Hagedorn. I've been with Wapaka Foundry for a little over a year now, and I'm a project engineer. We design mechanical systems uh, to allow our production people to do their jobs safely and efficiently. Our projects can range from a single workstation to an uh, entire uh, production line. Working with CAD and 3D software, we create virtual models of our projects to make sure they'll perform the way they should and that they're safe and cost effective. We then walk our projects through the bidding process, through the installation. And we work directly with the installation, make sure that everything is installed correctly. And once everything's installed, we go out with the guys on the floor to make sure everything's working the way we designed it. You gotta be a people person to uh, to do this job. If you're designing something, that's kind of neat. You get to make your own choices, but a lot of times you want to make decisions as a group so that you know everybody's on the same page and everybody's happy with the end result. It is essentially important that you are able to work as a team. It's definitely a job you take the ball and run with it yourself. But a lot of times you come to a point where you need somebody's input, and that's where the team aspect of it comes into play. One of the things I enjoy about my job is the satisfaction of seeing something's complete and knowing that you had a hand in it from start to finish. There's a big sense of satisfaction and having the freedom to design something just the way you want it, seeing a project get finished and knowing that you did it. If you have any opportunity to take the advanced credit classes which count for your college credit in high school, uh, you definitely want to do that. It can save you a lot of uh, pain in college, and not only that, but it, it'll save you money too. In high school, I took every advanced level course I could get my hands on, whether that be math, chemistry, physics. I was actually at IUS in New Albany and uh, decided I wanted to change majors, and one of the things they offered at, at IUS was the Purdue Statewide Technology Program. So I enrolled in that, and I transferred to Purdue and finished out my mechanical engineering technology degree at Purdue University and I'm glad I did so. I graduated high school at Perry Central in 2005. From there I went to the University of Evansville. I thought I wanted to do computer engineering and then I kind of decided I didn't want to sit behind a desk and do computer programming my whole life so I changed majors to just Bachelor of Science in Engineering and I transferred to USI where I finished my degree in three years. My senior year at Prairie Central was the first year that they offered an AutoCAD design class. I enrolled in it and from that point on I pretty well knew what I wanted to do. Went to Oakland City University on a basketball scholarship and enrolled into industrial engineering technology. Graduated there and while I was at college, I'd done two internships. Uh, that's one of the most important things for a kid that's wanting to go into this field is to do the internship. It's a great way to make money during the summer as well as give you some great job experience. I worked right along with Shane and Dave here and got some great experience over the summers. And uh, when I got back to school, I was a better student because of it. We decided he was worth keeping, so we, we brought him back. Well, ultimately, uh, uh, engineering position can lead all the way to the top position if you want to do that. Here at uh, Wapaka, we've already seen some of our engineers in the past go on to, to management positions. If you really like working with different people and managing or overseeing projects and working with computers, this might be the career path for you. Probably the second most satisfying thing for me is being able to live in Perry County and Know, work 15 minutes from where I was raised. I'll second that. My wife and I both went to Perry Central High School. Our families are from here and we both feel fortunate to have our current positions in Perry County close to our friends and family. To be able to find a job this close to where I grew up, 10 minutes from my family and friends is really important to me and I'm glad that I could do it right here in Perry County.